Well, what's up? So today we're going to review Everything Everywhere All at Once, um, directed by Daniel Kwan and Dino Shiner, also known as The Daniels, and starring Michelle Yeoh, Kei Hu Kwan, Stephanie Shu, James Wong, and Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, also starring Jenny Slade and Harry Shum Jr. All right, so before we continue, I've made a decision to start reviewing the films that I'm going to be watching on this channel because um, I've only seen eight films this year so far. <laughs> um, from 2022, most of the films that I've seen in the first half of the year were for my podcast, The One Inch Barrier. And those were more, mostly films from like the 50s and the 40s. And then I was not really into watching films because I was very busy with something this year. If you know what I mean. So now I'm just getting caught up with the films that are released this year. Especially the ones that are the contenders for the award season this year. So let's call this like catching up with the contenders. Um, so yeah. And let's start with something big. Because this one, um, this film um, has been released since March of this year. Um I don't think, I'm not sure if I, it was released here in the Philippines in cinemas. Maybe it was. But I'm just catching up with everything on video on on demand and streaming, which is my home now. So anyway, a quick summary. It is about a couple of Chinese-American immigrants who um, travel to, um, wait, how <laughs> to summarize this? Uh, travel to several multi um, parallel universes to be able to fight a destructive force. In the multiverse. That's not the best summary. But I tried. Anyway. So that's. <laughs> I'm just laughing because. Um, this is first viewing of course. Like you can see. And um, yeah. That's how my brain has taken this film. And I think I would start with that. Um, I would start with the fact that when I was watching this film. I had to surrender myself to the film in a way that I would not understand every single thing that's happening but I had to trust that this would take me in a ride and I think this film has delivered on that front and I would say that the Daniels has given such a clear vision on what the story it wants to tell it's at its core it's a story about connection it's a story about love being human but so in the core, it's basically a simple story, but it uses several layers of storytelling, several genres to show how the simplest of things could be complicated as heck. And once we think of the decisions we've made in the past and how they could complicate things, things could get really complex. And I think the strength of the film is that it was able to visualize that and um, stand by that because there are films where it can, they can get drowned by their own ambition and the vision could be muddled instead of something immersive. And, you know, when something that, especially in this one, there is um, not just a world building, like a universe building. When you have that and it's not clear, you're going to alienate the audience and everything will just be noise or clutter. With this one, it is something that I didn't understand everything, but it is clear enough for you to still know that even when you think it's not making sense, it is making sense. So props to the Daniels for writing such a layered screenplay and bringing it onto the screen with such vigor, you know, such energy. I feel if this is a revitalized kind of filmmaking. I'm not even just talking about how fast-paced it was or how flashy it is, but just on how you feel the hunger in the story. You, know, you, you kind of see... Um, it's it's eager it's not obnoxious but it's eager and it keeps on pushing and pushing and pushing and you see the film go in so many the film goes in so many directions that i'm not even anticipating but you're just there and the result is something that resonates with you because you have to take a leap of faith with this film and if you do you're going to be treated with such um a juicy, flavorful journey of these characters. And that's also the thing, is that despite all, you know, the the, the jargon, you know, the multiverse, the alpha, something, something, it never loses sight of its humanity at its core. You know, the, the jargon things when it's inevitable because, you know, they're establishing things so there would be some exposition, expository dialogue. Those are my least favorite parts of the film. 
but they're necessary, so whatever. But I always go back and drawn, and I'm drawn to the center. It is about the couple, Waymond, and let's start with Evelyn. Evelyn, who in this process of not, you know, she doesn't know where to begin, but she is able to realize her potential as a person. Um, it's a journey of self actualization. And as for Waymond, Waymond is the one that sees this in her, even though they are on the brink of separation. He sees this potential in her to con such a person who, you know, they've used the word disappointment and, you know, but they had a potential to be able to conquer the unconquerable. And that is the heart of the film. And the film never loses sight of that. And the film holds on dear life for that. Because um, you always see that, you know, even when the film takes such strange maneuvers, it always circles back to that. Props to the cinematography for such colors and the ever-shifting aspect ratio, which is um, a trip. And the editing for making it clear, at all clear. Because um, this is a journey that you have to be, like, you really have to pick up plot things. Not just in terms of like plot per se, but just plot even visual suggestions of like where we are going. And if that is not tight, airtight, then... Um, you are going to disadvantage the story that you're telling. So I think in this one, the writing and the editing really comes hand in hand. So really props to that. Editing, let's go. Um, the name of the editor is Paul Rogers. Hi, Paul. In terms of, um, and everything else, it just, everything comes together. The music, the visual effects, everything. How playful it is. Gosh, the humor. Not all of the humor is for me, but whatever. It's, it's, it works. And in terms of the acting, I love this cast. Um, Michelle Yo, Michelle Yo, um, from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Crazy Rich Asians, such a superb actress in conveying a gentle sense of um, an emotional core. You, ha it's such it's graceful. This is a graceful performance that toes a lot of lines because this is going into several genres and making sure that you're attuned in all of them. Um, Kei Hu Kwan, who um, I haven't seen, I think, Hulk. Hulk. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen his previous works. So, yeah, props for being the emotional anchor, like the yin to her yang. Really beautiful work together. And they are the core of this film. Stephanie Shu, who I have seen in um, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Now getting this huge supporting role really beautiful because um no no not that's a spoiler but anyway she's textured the performance is textured even when the film kind of allows her to play a certain trope or be the specific role it allows her to be human uh, james wong is just a delight in giving games hong sorry games hong in being able to put necessary texture to this film um, Jamie Lee Curtis, who is a delight in this film, who is such... When, I remember when she said that she loved this character of Deirdre. I sense that. I She wasn't playing a caricature. She was playing a human being. And human being has a whole story, even with a limited runtime. So I love this cast. This cast really brings out the best of the story. Because I think the film traverses several genres. And sometimes the characters are in several wavelengths. And the disconnect sometimes is the connect. I don't know if that makes sense. So these actors have to be in tune with one another in making sure, you know, the registers that they're playing. And I love that it is so clear for them. And goes back to the film. The film is clear-eyed in the story that it wants to tell. And it is important to have that especially when you have a journey such as this. Um, I have nothing much to say. I know that in this award season, it is like kind of the front, um, one of the front runners. I'm not going to get much into that. Um, but um, I do, I'm ex I am excited for the prospect of this being a legitimate like front runner for Best Picture because it's not like anything I've ever seen. And people who say that it's like a derivative of Marvel, it's like, Pfft. Yes, it's not true. Like Marvel wouldn't go this bold in their storytelling. This is. This film is bold storytelling. This is, you know, I think this is what Scorsese would call cinema. 
you know, that stamp of the author just being there and telling a story that you don't know where it takes you, but you're just in there for the ride. Um, yeah, so I am excited. This is um, a moment for Michelle Yeoh, for Kei Ho Kwan, for Stephanie Shu, for Jamie Lee Curtis, for James Hong, for the Daniels, for the film. It is an exciting time um, and an exciting film to start this catching up with a contenders thing. So, uh, yeah, I am... I don't know. I, I was. I, I'm almost like reluctant to give like a, a rating. Let's say A minus or B plus. I'm in the between the two, but um, I am so happy that I finally caught up with this film. So yeah, um, I hope you like this video. Please give this a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. More contenders in the days to come. And also, we're gonna be starting the Martin, the MCU, Martin Cinematic Universe. So I'm excited to get pumped in 2022 in film and more films film 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 so yeah thank you so much and i hope to see you next time bye